Good morning, YouTube family. So, today is really just like a hot mess of a day. And I don't want to like keep getting on here and like venting and being frustrated with you guys. But like, for real, <laughs> this is the state of my life right now. So I have to work, as do most people during the week. But Thomas woke up today and informed me that he has CQ today which is a 24 hour shift. Again, like he did the one for the other guy so that the other guy could go on leave. Then he had CQ of his own that he needed to do. So he left this morning for CQ. So now if he would have told me ahead of time, I would have been able to talk to my job to see if we could restructure my schedule so that I wouldn't have had to work today. But that's neither here nor there because now we're in this calamity. So at like, 6.30 this morning, he went to, not 6.30, like 7-ish, really. Yeah, like 7-ish. He went to the neighbor's house and asked them if they could watch our Rugrats until I get off work, which is not until close tonight. Oh, So now I'm trying to get everything that the boys need. I, They've been in the shower, they've gotten dressed, but I'm the kind of parent where I don't like to send my kids like unprepared to somebody's house. So now I'm gonna like make them some sandwiches, gather up all the snacks and bottles of water that I can possibly find, put it inside of like that, um, this cooler bag that we have. So that way when they go to the neighbor's house, they don't have to rely on the neighbor's food. Like they're fully stocked with everything that they'll need. But it's just, uh, I just can't like this is is too much this is too much like all of this is just getting to be too much so I have just pulled apart the pork added my barbecue sauce and now it is all done so most likely I'm gonna like cut that much off to leave for home and the rest I'll probably put it in a smaller pan take it to work but yay it's all done
Okay, guys. So, let me close this cabinet. That is one thing I cannot stand is leaving the cabinets open. So, I tried to pack the boys their little um, bag, but problem. We are out of bread. And, like, we're not technically out of bread. We still have the bread that I eat, uh, which is, like, my low-carb keto bread. But the boys don't like it. So, Thomas normally buys bread for the three of them to eat since they don't like the bread that I eat. But their bread is gone. So, I can't make them sandwiches like I originally wanted to. But, thank Jesus, he was looking out. There was uh, still two beefaroni things in the cabinet that they didn't touch this edge control is getting on my nerves so i packed that along with some oranges some apple sauce um i think that's it let me double check it yeah they're flavored water oranges the beefaronis because i don't get off again till close so it'll be 8 30 <laughs> by the time i'm able to pick them up and yeah, because Thomas, again, doesn't get off until tomorrow. So, pack them some beefaroni stuff that they can have for dinner. But now it's a matter of lunch. What am I going to pack for lunch? Unless, and I think he's coming at like 1030 to pick them up. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to go to an ATM, draw out money, and give him money to like order a pizza or something because I I don't know what else there is to do. Like, we are always a day late and a dollar short when things like really matter and I'm so over it, like so over it. Oh, we have bagels, but what can I make? with bagels. I mean, I could make their sandwiches on bagels, but they're not gonna eat that. <sighs> like they have the audacity to be picky eaters, especially that Theo, and he's the one who eats the most. Um, but okay, let me try to figure this out because I have no idea what we're gonna do. Cause I have to go to work at 12 the next door neighbor gets home at 10.30. And so I need to find a way to give them something for lunch since they're gonna be over there for so long. Like a whole eight hours. Like my, my babies need to eat, they're always hungry. But okay, let me figure this out guys. saved by the damn bell like I had to look in the deep freezer because like when I say our freezer is empty and then Thomas bought a deep freezer but I don't know why because like there's never enough to fill it so I don't understand the purpose of having it but he bought a deep freezer so he took some of the stuff out of our regular freezer to put in the deep freezer so now our freezer freezer regular freezer is like tight bear like air circulating and he put stuff in the deep freezer i guess just to have something in it so it's not completely empty whatever it made sense to him but in the deep freezer bam bag of pizza rolls i can't do this like i i can't do this so, pizza rolls for lunch, and then they'll have the Chef Boyardee things for dinner, and then I should be home from work. And I still feel like the way my kids eat, like you would think we never feed them. I still need to go somewhere, get some cash to leave him 
in case he needs to order out because like I'm not joking when I tell y'all like it, it bare our stuff is bare I keep asking Thomas when he's going to you know go grocery shopping since he gets the BAS which for the non-military people out there is the basic allowance for sustenance which is what they give it's like basically military food stamps every month they give him an amount to spend on groceries which if he was a single soldier that amount that they give us for groceries would go towards that single soldier's meal plan for being able to eat anywhere on base that's how that works but because he's married and has a family they give Thomas that money himself so that we can go to the supermarket and buy our groceries and I don't know what the issue is but he did not go so, uh, but whatever, crisis has been averted, I hope. It is now 10.54, um, I have to go to work, we'll be at work, start work at 12, and I don't know what's happening, like, honestly don't think it's gonna happen so I would rather call my job now to let them know the situation and that I'm calling out for today like just started the damn job and already having to call out like this is I was about to say a bad word but yeah like honestly guys I was gonna try to like record more and show you guys more of the day like of the potluck at work and stuff and the gift exchange and all that good stuff but I don't I'm not even in the mood anymore like I'm done with today I'm so over today like I still need to get in the shower like I know y'all see my outfit and it looks real familiar because I slept in my clothes last night once I got done putting the pork in the oven and seasoning everything up I took my butt to bed and slept in these clothes last night just to wake up to this. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Can I take you there?